Hi, I'm Sky Collier, Vice President Business Development at Horizons ETF. Welcome to our latest episode of Generation ETF, where we're dedicated to exploring everything you need to know about ETF investing. Today is a very special episode for our listeners as we're just days away from the countdown to the official launch of our 10th edition of the biggest winner trading competition. This is a highly anticipated simulated ETF trading contest. And this year marks a milestone. Is it's our 10th edition of the contest? We're gonna help you get ready, set, go for what could be our biggest, biggest winner yet. Here are the details. The trading competition is six weeks long, running May 31st to July 9th with $13,000 in cash prizes to be won. You get started with $100,000 in virtual cash to trade TSX listed ETFs in our simulated risk-free trading environment. Then it's up to you to trade and grow the portfolio to generate the highest six week performance return. The champion wins a $7,500 cash grand prize. The runner up takes home a cool $2,500 in cash. And what's more, there's also $500 awarded to the weekly champion for each six weeks. So it means it's never too late to sign up over the six week contest. The biggest winner trading competition is supported by National Bank Direct Brokerage as our sponsor. Joining me today is Roger Chandock, Director of Equity Derivatives at National Bank Financial. Roger provides coverage for ETF investors from the ETF sales and trading desk and oversees the publication of the daily and weekly ETF industry commentary, which is a must read for those following Canada's ETF sector. Thanks so much for joining us today, Roger. Thank you very much for, uh, for having me. I'm so glad uh, National Bank can be part of this. Let's talk about trading ETF. They're used by millions of investors and are one of the fastest growing investment products globally. But what are some of the key features investors need to know if they're just getting started or if they're looking to hone and build their knowledge about ETFs in general? Sure, yeah. Um, yeah, I, I guess uh, traditionally speaking, um, you know, do-it-yourself investors uh, would go on their brokerage sites or their online brokerage sites uh, and they trade single securities, um, usually stocks or equities. Um, now, the beauty about ETFs is they trade like stocks uh, on the stock exchanges, uh, and uh, you can trade them on your on your uh, online platforms. But, uh, the difference, however, is that they tend they they typically track a basket of securities uh, or an index, right? So, you know, for example, you might have an ETF which is one ticker but it tracks the S&P 500 index or uh, the TSX 60 index. And there has been so much innovation over uh, the past few years that now there are so many ETFs. Uh, you know, there are uh, over a thousand now in Canada. There are ETFs, you know, for example, if you wanted to track the Canadian uh, oil and gas uh, space or, you know, global technology stocks, for example, um, there's ETFs for uh, different commodities. Uh, we even have, you know, cryptocurrency ETFs now with Bitcoin and Ethereum. So there's so much choice out there. Good thing to remember though about ETFs is that instead of like stocks where you're buying a single company, here you you tend to be buying a basket of securities. Yeah, that diversity is so important. And and when you're actually doing the buying and selling of the ETF on the day, you know, you look at this thing called NAV. What is NAV and why is it important? Yeah, so so NAV is a uh, I guess a, a term that gets thrown around a lot. It's your net asset value uh, of the fund, which is essentially the, the the value of the fund at the end of the day. You know what's it worth? Um, you know, investors uh, uh, always want to know what a fund is worth. It's a very important metric. You know, if you want to, uh, for example, track your performance over time. You know, NAV is something you would uh, you would use for that. Uh, and also just as a, as a sanity check, you know, if you're trading the ETF, you want to get a, an idea if you're trading it around, uh, you know, what it's worth. Uh, beauty about an ETF though is you don't wait for the end of it. You don't have to wait for the end of the day. You can trade it all day uh, and every day when markets are, are open. Um, and, you know, uh, investors are concerned, you know, are they getting a fair price? You can rest assured that you are. Uh, there are professional money market makers um, that are uh, posting bids and offers uh, in the market uh, on the exchanges that are reflective of the value 
uh, of the underlying portfolios in those uh, in those funds. So you know, uh, if those portfolios are moving around uh, in the day, the ETFs will always track very closely to the underlying to, to the value of the underlying portfolios. So you're getting pretty much real time trading data. Yeah. And so I guess this this falls into my next question regarding liquidity. Can you talk to us about volume and liquidity and how that works with ETFs? Sure. Yeah. So um, liquidity is is for your do-it-yourself investors. Uh, liquidity is never really an issue. It's not something to be concerned about. Uh, you know, it, it is a consideration for some of your large uh, institutional portfolio managers who are trading many millions of dollars throughout the day. But for your do-it-yourself investors, it's not a problem. So, you know, one, uh, there are professional money make, market makers, as I as I mentioned, who uh, are posting bids and offers and tr and trading the ETF, uh, and they are accessing the underlying markets, the underlying portfolios. You know, so all the individual stocks uh, in inside a portfolio trade millions of dollars every day. So there's 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 a lot of liquidity there. Um, you know, on top of that, the ETFs trade uh, on the exchanges. So there are a lot of other market participants buying and selling the actual ETF units. So once you put all this together, uh, you get uh, ETFs that have extremely uh, 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 large liquidity profile. So for your, uh, so for your uh, do-it-yourself investors, liquidity should not be uh, a concern. That's great to know. And I guess the question that's always on investors' mind are fees. Talk to us about management fees when it comes to ETFs. Sure. Well, for a um, competition like this, which is very short term, and you're looking to to to, to you know, get access to investments that uh, will help you hit a home run in terms of short-term returns. Fees you probably wouldn't be my priority, but or, or, or something to look at. But uh, you know, if you're looking to invest long-term for retirement or perhaps an asset like uh, a home purchase in a, in a few years, then yes, fees should absolutely uh, matter to you. You know, the management fee is uh, is basically the amount that's uh, uh, taken out of the fund uh, and used to pay the, the manager of the fund. Um, so, you know, if you're comparing for your long-term investments to similar products uh, and, and the fees are very different, uh, you know, the, the, the management fee is something that uh, you should definitely prioritize uh, in your decision-making process. Thanks for that. Yeah, we covered a lot. We talked fees, we talked diversification, the NAV and price for real-time trading data, of course, intraday liquidity. So. When, when you kind of walk us through that, it makes buying and selling ETFs sound pretty straightforward, but I'm sure our investors are wondering, you know, if you have any key tips and tricks you can share for investors who want to make the most of their ETF trading experience, whether it's for the biggest winner trading competition or just for their own portfolios. Absolutely. We call this uh, trading good trading hygiene. Uh, we throw that term around a lot, and we, we do have a few tips for uh, for, for retail investors. Um, you know, a few come to mind. So the first one is use uh, limit orders and not market orders. Uh, you know, just for example, if you see a, an ETF that you want to, to buy, uh, and the price is, uh, and you're seeing it trading around ten dollars and twenty five cents, uh, you know, put your limit order around there. Um, and don't enter a market order. So the market order, so, so the limit order will prevent you from buying it much higher than you'd like, or selling it much much lower than you'd like. So definitely use uh, use limit orders. Um, another tip, I guess, is to avoid the first uh, avoid trading right after the market opens at, at 9.30. You know, markets tend to be a little bit volatile at the open. Uh, you know, there could be overnight news or other things that are causing markets to be a little bit, uh, um, a little bit more uh, volatile at the open. And, you're, and because of that, ETFs bid offer spreads might be a little bit wider right after the open. Um, after a few minutes, after, uh, you know, this uh, market sort of settled down and these, this sort of price discovery mechanism takes effect, then the bid offer spreads of ETFs uh, will start to tighten up. So you should wait anywhere from a few seconds to 10 minutes, depending on the ETF. Uh, but yeah, absolutely wait a few minutes. Um, another tip I would say is pay attention to the underlying portfolio of the ETF that you're that you're investing in. Uh, you know, you could be trading an ETF that's listed on a Canadian stock exchange, but holds securities that are in other areas, right? So if you're holding a, 
a U.S. equity ETF, you might want to, you know, um, look at when there's holidays. So I know Independence Day is coming up. That's a day when uh, U.S. markets are closed, but the but those those ETFs are still going to trade in, in in Canada. So you know you might want to look at the bid offer spreads on that day but they might be a little wider um you might think well is it good to trade today or should i perhaps wait till tomorrow so bottom line pay attention to uh the the, the portfolio uh inside the etf awesome tip thanks so much roger yeah i mean being aware of timing your trades using limit orders these are key to making the most of your trading experience now, for our listeners looking to take home the champion prize of $7,500 in cash, what would you say are some of the key strategies they'll want to keep in mind to deliver the top performance return over that six-week completion period? Barring in mind, of course, it's a risk-free simulated trading environment, so the sky's the limit. Yeah, I guess there are a number of ways you can uh, you can go about this, um, but you know, I, I guess maybe one approach uh, would be to view um, view your investment universe um, in asset classes, right? So there are equities, there are bonds and fixed income, there's commodities, there's alternative uh, investments, and within uh, these categories, you want to find 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 uh, investments that uh, that are you think or that you think are going to uh do very well in the near term the next few weeks within you know you probably want to look within the equity category because certainly there's some categories in there that uh that could do very well um it, you know there are very uh niche niche exposures now that you can get with the etf etfs like disruptive innovation uh clean energy things like that um you know, commodities might be an interesting uh, an interesting area. Uh, now, one uh, great tool for a competition like this, since you are using virtual money, are your leveraged or inverse uh, ETFs, which provide two times the, the the daily return of an index or a commodity, or ne- or, or negative uh, daily returns. Uh, and from what I know, uh, in, in past years in this competition. Um, People who have done very well in this competition have used those uh, uh, quite a bit, so those might be uh, some interesting some interesting tools. Oh, and I, I should also mention there are even cryptocurrency ETFs, and those uh, uh, you know, Bitcoin has been known to to have huge swings, uh, and 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 so that might be another uh, good uh, uh, a good option for you. Those are great ideas. Yeah, I'll just jump in to remind our listeners that Horizons is the only provider of leverage inverse and inverse leverage ETFs in Canada. We call those our beta pro ETFs. So if you've ever been afraid to bet your savings on a bullish or bearish view of oil, gold, gold, gas, Bitcoin, as Roger pointed out, you know, now's your chance. This is a risk-free simulated environment to have fun and really hone your trading skills. Yeah, I, I agree. I think this is an excellent opportunity to learn, and uh, I, I look forward to uh, competing with all of you. I will. Uh, I'll join this as well. I've joined this competition in the past. I haven't done very well uh, in any years. I, I guess I have a little bit of a conservative approach, so maybe this year I'll I'll be a little bit more aggressive. So I'm I'm looking forward to it. That's great. As am I. And let the best trader win. Thank you so much, Roger, for your time and to National Bank for your sponsorship. Uh, We're really looking forward to this year's biggest winner trading competition. So to date, we've hosted tens of thousands of Canadians in the biggest winner and have awarded more than $100,000 in real cash prizes. So again, if you haven't already signed up, the virtual trading competition is officially open to register now. And we hope you'll join us for this year's biggest winner 10, which could be our biggest, biggest winner yet.